Hey guys, this is Chris. Hope everybody's doing all right this evening. I've got another fun build review for you guys. We're going to take a look at the Core Invaders build from Core Builds. And uh, I saw this because it is one of the top trending builds. It just kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, it's not the most visually stunning, uh, but it is kind of nifty. And I thought I would actually go ahead and show you how to download it and install it. And uh, this may be one of those builds that just kind of grows on you. So we're going to take a look at that here in just a second. Uh, but real quickly, I just want to give a quick shout out to all you guys that are subscribing. Again, thank you all so much. If you all have not subscribed or if this is your first time watching a video, please click on the link below and hit subscribe for me. Continue to grow and grow. And I do a lot of build reviews. I do a lot of thorough build reviews. Uh, I also do streaming device reviews. Uh, I just recently did one on the Lilbox Q2, and after the review, ended up giving it away. Uh, Butch, I still have to get that to you, and I promise you I will probably send it out this week. But, uh, you know, you got to be a subscriber to be able to enter into the contest, so that's the key there. So why not, you know, watch my videos. Uh, you might actually have a chance to win something, all right? Just ask Butch. He was the latest winner of the last contest that we did. And it was kind of a fun contest, too. So um, one other thing I want to make sure you guys are doing is please click on the the, uh, the bell. Because if you click on the bell, that way guys will be notifi notified of any new videos that I come out with. Um, with me being out of town a lot uh, here of late, um, you know, it makes it even more important to do that. Because as soon as I make a video or I'm in town to do a video... Uh, then you guys will be notified immediately of that new video, okay? So definitely do that for me. And again, I thank you guys for all the support. I truly do. I ended up doing this whole thing just because, you know, I wanted to help everybody out, wanted to be real, and uh, and it's looking pretty good so far. So, so thank you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do, obviously, start out with 17.3 Krypton Cody. I'm going to go up to the gear. I'm going to go ahead and click Enter. And we're going to go over to System Settings, click Enter. Down to Add-ons, click to the right. And we're going to go ahead and click Enter on Unknown Sources. That's going to bring up the warning box. You're just going to go ahead and hit Yes. And then you're going to backspace once. Go down to File Manager, go ahead and click Enter. Then we're going to go down to Add Source, go ahead and click Enter. Then we're going to click Enter again. And we're going to type in this URL just exactly the way that I have it http colon forward slash forward slash just core dot com now you have to be careful because you have a zero in there so it's just c and then o r e dot com and then forward slash wizard Okay, so make sure, you, like I said, when you type in the O, it's actually a zero, or else the uh, URL is not going to work, okay? So thank you all for being patient there. Just go ahead and click OK once you're done there. And then we're going to name it, go ahead and click Enter, and then go ahead and backspace or delete, and then we're just going to name it Core. And just make sure you use an O on that one, so or however you want to do it. But uh, I just name it Core, and then hit OK, and then scroll down and hit OK. And as you can see, you've got the URL source in there. All right. So from here, we want to backspace twice, and then we're going to scroll down to Add-ons. Go ahead and click Enter, and then up to the Install box. Go ahead and click Enter. And then down to Install from zip file. Go ahead and click Enter, and then down to Core. Go ahead and click enter. Then down one, go ahead and click enter. Okay, if you hit my add-ons and then backspace, you'll see it says currently downloading add-ons. Now we're waiting for a pop-up to come up. So if this is your first time downloading a new build, you're going to see a pop-up in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. And it's going to tell you that the add-on has been installed.
once that pops up, that currently downloading add-ons there that we have highlighted will actually disappear just like that. I didn't mean to time that perfectly, but it ended up being perfect. All right, so from here, you're going to get a pop-up box. And this is your core wizard. And you're just going to hit either one of these. You can hit dismiss. Then we're going to hit continue. And then build menu. Okay, and we're going to scroll down to core invaders build version 1.3. Go ahead and click enter. And then we're going to do a standard install. Now, if we had a build already on there, we would do fresh install because that would wipe everything fresh and then it would start downloading for you. But in this case, we've got a fresh Kodi already. So we're going to go ahead and hit standard install. It's going to bring up a pop up box to ask you, are you sure you want to download it? Yes, install. And as you can see, it's only 233 megabytes. So it's not extremely a heavy build. And that's good because all you guys with Fire Sticks or Fire TVs or Rokus, anything like that, it's going to work perfectly for. In fact, it'll work perfectly for any device. And it makes it a lot easier to download. All right, so the downloading phase is done. Now it's just going through, it's extracting the files part. Uh, once again, make sure you definitely click on the link below and hit subscribe for me, guys. Can't urge you guys enough. I think you guys will be pleased with my videos. I try to be very thorough on a lot of these builds. That way you guys have a good working knowledge even before you download the, the, uh, the build. And you can kind of navigate through it quicker that way. And if it's a build that you don't like, then, you know, if it was one that you were thinking about actually downloading but you don't like, you can also go ahead and just delete it or not even download it. And if there's anything you want to see, just make sure you leave me a comment or you can email me. Either or, I'll leave my personal email address down at the bottom of every description box. Feel free to contact me if you just want to say hi. You can do that as well. I kind of feel like we're all family anyway. And at this time, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, one of my working buddies, Brent. Hope everything's going all right, man. Miss you guys. All right. So, as you can see, it says, would you like to force close? We're just going to go ahead and force close it. That's going to take you back out to the main menu. And then from here, you're going to go ahead and click Cody again. And it's going to bring up the build. As always, guys, when you're downloading builds, make sure that you give it enough time to do its thing, okay? All right. Like I said, it's not graphically stunning. There's not a lot of fan art. I don't think there's any fan art on any of this. Uh, but if you are a Space Invader fan, <laughs> this, is a, this is definitely a cool build for you. All right, so given a time to do its thing. As you can see, it says clear packages, none found. And it's going to start all adding on all its updates. All right, so let's take a look through the build. As you can see, it gives you the, the day and the time up top, the date. Down below, you've got your menu, you've got search, movies, TV shows, animated YouTube all video add-ons favorites you've got more stuff and then exit ship <laughs> so like I said this is kind of a fun fun build it's very basic uh, but it's kind of neat I like it it's pretty cool all right so from your search there you can click enter 
All right, and you can search via movies, TV shows, music, channels, playlists, search. So that's pretty cool. You can also scroll down and then you can search via movies or TV shows. So let's go into search movies. And then you've got all these options here that you can search for. So we're just going to click the top one there, search movie. And it lets you know up top there if it's busy or what's going on. All right, and then it brings up your keyboard there. So we're just going to type in something. Um, let's type in big. I don't know why I came to the conclusion to type in big, but that is Tom Hanks movie. It was back when I was in high school, back in 88. Okay, it's showing busy. We're going to give it a second here. All you had to do is once you typed in what big was or whatever movie you wanted to, uh, then you just hit search via movies. And that may be too basic of a search string. So we'll give it a second, see what it does. And there you go, guys. There's big. Check that out. It's got the scrolling Blu-ray or DVD. It tells you all about the movie, the year. Uh-oh, I think I just gave you guys how old I was. And that might be a good question to ask for one of the upcoming contests. So, hint, hint. Remember that. All right. And then you also have Big Hero 6, so it's going to pull up anything... <laughs> With big in it, big fish, big Manny, <laughs> the big Lebowski movie dude. <laughs> I love that movie. All right, so that gives you some options there. So pretty cool, guys. Uh, I take a little bit to to actually find it, but uh, being that uh, big is kind of a vague word. I mean, I think it did fairly well. All right, so let's move on. We got movies. Go ahead and click enter. And as you can see, you've got Covenant here. So let's go into People Watching. That's my favorite submenu of Covenant. And there you go, guys. I love that view. I know Stephen's Wizards was uh, Stephen was one of the ones that actually came out with this view with the scrolling DVD or Blu-ray. I think that's pretty cool. All right, you got Wonder Woman. Snatched. So very nice, guys. I like the look of that. Very nice. All right. And you have all of the other menu options here as well. Okay. If you scroll down, you've got 1080p movies, Benu, Bob, Bubbles. You've got Bucky movies. There's Covenant again. Deliverance. Duck Pool, there's Elysium, Fear of the Dark, Movie Madness, One Stop Films, Open Load Movies, there's Poseidon Guys, with the Pyramid, Safe House, Specto, oh my goodness guys. So they don't have a lot of fan art, but they've used it to really, really add a lot of add-ons here. So let's just go into one of the add-ons here just to check the sub-menu. There you go guys, there's Deliverance. There's movie trailers, sports movies, classic movies. There's Deliverance 2017 movies and movies list. So let's go into one of the submenus here. I like to let you guys know everything is working. Nice. All right. Looks good, guys. All right, let's move on. TV shows, you can click enter on TV shows, and once again, it's going to bring up all the list menu, or menu list, I guess, for Covenant. We'll go back into people watching. 
And there you go. As you guys know, Game of Thrones is one of my favorites. We'll go into that. And I believe, actually, Episode 5 is occurring right now, and I'm missing it. Shoot. Yep, there it is. And if you guys have not watched Game of Thrones, I definitely recommend it. It is a Edge of Your Seat series. All right, we're going to scroll down. And you have Bob, Bubbles, Covenant, Deliverance, Duckpool, Elysium, Poseidon, The Pyramid, Specto, and Top TV Shows. So let's go into something different this time. Let's go into... Uh, let's go into Poseidon. I really like this new add-on. I like the look of it. And let's go into new TV shows. And there you go, guys. Very nice. I like that look with the, the scrolling DVD. That is pretty freaking awesome. All right. So once again, we're, it's, everything's working there perfectly. Now we have animated. So let's go into animated. The latest 50 releases, popular and ongoing series, dubbed anime list. You got cartoons list, cartoon favorites, subbed anime list, search by genre, search, OVA series, and movies. So let's go into one of these. And that's very nice, guys. Anime galore there for you all. Okay. We scroll down. We've got Anime XD, Bobby's Cartoons, Cartoons 8, Cartoons On, Go Go Anime, Picasso, Toon Mania, Toons R Us, and Watch Cartoons Online. Let's go into one of those. Let's go into Picasso. And there you go, guys. You've got a lot of menu items there. Let's go into animated movies. So this kind of has a little bit of everything for each and every one of you guys. You got your kids taken care of. And as you can see, you've got some of the top rated animated movies out there right now. So nice, very nice, guys. All right, next time, next thing you have YouTube. So if you want to log into your YouTube account, watch Chris Caserta, you definitely can do it that way. <laughs> uh, if you don't want to watch Chris Caserta, you can watch <laughs> whatever you want to watch. All right, so next thing we've got all video add-ons. So we're going to click Enter, and there you go, guys. There's your list of all of the video add-ons that the Core Invaders build has. And there's a lot of really good ones. So very nice. You scroll down, you don't get anything on that, so you're good. Then you have a favorites list. So if you want to add anything to your favorites, there you go. You can add episodes, you can add movies, you can add series, you can add program add-ons, whatever you want to add to your favorites, there you go. If you scroll up, there it gives you your list and your files. There you go. All right, next thing is more stuff. We're going to click Enter. All right, this gives you your interface settings. Let's go into that real quick. And it, it's called the Phenomenal Skin. All right, you click Enter. And you can go back to Estuary or Estushi. Okay. So it gives you the three options there. Now, Someone asked me uh, just a little bit ago um, if you want fonts, you can change your uh, fonts to uh, whatever country you want there. Here is your zoom. Okay, so somebody asked me about that. Where is the zoom? Because they were having issues with their um, the build not fitting their TV correctly. So there you go, guys. That's where it is. It's under your in interface settings and that's pretty much standard for all builds okay and then you also have 
player settings, media settings, system. So you can go into that and it's under that, under system settings, you can go down and there's your video calibration. So you can actually calibrate your video as well. So there's two places that you can actually adjust your video screen. All right, so hopefully that helps you guys out. And then you have all of your other stuff here too. So if you're, let's say you're wanting to add a source, let's go back out to the main menu. You would just scroll, oops, excuse me, just click on more stuff. And then there's your add-ons and your file manager. So you would go into file manager, you add your source, like we did with the beginning of the build when we download this build or the wizard. And then you would go up to add-ons, click enter, and that gives you your install from zip and install from repository. So it's all right there. That's nice, guys, because a lot of times you don't have that right together. Uh, sometimes it actually, uh, you know, kind of is away from each other, so it's a little hard to find. All right, so now if you scroll down, you have settings that you can get into. Program outs we'll go into. There's file manager. And there's your clear cache. You can update or force update your add-ons. And then you can blow up your ship and do a, f a fresh start. So if you absolutely do not like this build, you can blow it up. <laughs> right there is the button. Warning button. Warning, 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 Real Robinson. <laughs> so anyway, uh, but if you go into program add-ons, we'll check that out for you guys. Looky there, you got your program add-ons as well. All right, and then you can exit ship. If you do not like this ship, and you want to sell on another ship, you, you would just hit that. And you can do a normal exit or you can force close Cody. Now, one other thing I wanted to do, let's go back into movies real quick. Uh, let's go into people watching. And let's go to Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, now, if you long press the select button, oops, let's cancel that out. If you long press, well, shoot. Let's try it one more time. You long press the select button on that. You can play from the trailer. Okay, you can cue the item. You can auto play it, which is nice. So you don't have to go actually into tools to select auto play. You can auto play that. You can add it to the library. All right, you can play information mark and you can add to your favorites. So let's go ahead and add it to our favorites because I did want to show you this. And we're going to backspace this. Okay, and we're going to go all the way to our favorites. All right, and there's your super favorites. Okay, and all you have to do is click enter. And you can explore Cody favorites. And there it is, guys. It's right there for you all. Okay. So you have a, a plenty of options there with this build. Like I said, it's not uh, a great fan art build if you're into the movie, you know, um, into the actual movie fan art and all that stuff. But, I mean, it's a cute build, and it's very basic. So if you uh, like basic things, uh, you want something very simple, this is very simple. I mean, you got your movies, you got your TV shows, you got your kids, you got Chris Caserta right there. Remember, make sure you click on the link below and hit subscribe. Uh, you can watch me there. Uh, you've got favorites. I mean, it's all of everything that you need, all right? And this build is just zoomed out of nowhere. It, like, literally popped into the top five top trending builds within a matter of days. So, apparently a lot of other people liking this one, all right? So, I give it two thumbs up. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, you know how to get in touch with me. Leave me a comment, or you can email me directly. Remember, my email address is down at the bottom in the description box. And again, I appreciate you all watching my videos. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I will let you guys know I'm going to be out of town the next couple of days. So don't freak out. Uh, if you all want to just say hi, keep me company. You know how to get in touch with me. But uh, again, I thank you all for watching. Thank you all for making this channel what it is today. Uh, again, I just I really, really appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, thank you guys for the donations. Uh, it really does help. Uh, so if you guys do want to donate, uh, you got a link down at the bottom there. Um, so, you know, I'm going to probably, 
actually start getting into um, just just FYI here in the very near future probably going to start making my own build so uh, that's something down the road I'm working on getting a laptop which I don't have yet but once I do that uh, Lord knows I can do just about anything so you know again I appreciate you all following me and uh, and I really really like uh, your comments and everything that you all uh, show the love so thank you guys again you all have a great night and I will see you soon thank you all